to remove the cover off the top of the microwave there'll be five bolts there one there and some on the back they'll be all around the top and then this top cover should pop off Surprisingly enough, the non-rusty T15 was unable to turn some of these bolts due to being very shallow. This really rusty one added some extra groove to it and turned it with a breeze. Alright, we should be able to lift this cover off. right side of the microwave this unit right here because of the noise it's on the motherboard towards the front and a standard design amongst many other units and brands before I make any modifications I'm going to show you this what it sounds like before Is the sound of the beeper buzzer noise maker now i'm going to put an end to the beeping noise once and for all i'm going to try to remove it without putting any stress on the component or the motherboard ground yourself from static and avoid the capacitor and during this whole process make sure to avoid the capacitor which is right there that can hold power even when the unit is unplugged Okay, I just unplugged the microwave and now it's time to remove the buzzer beeper noise maker. Let's try to wiggle that out. Might need to remove this plug first. Depending on the force you provide to the unit. Now it appears that this part is soldered to the unit and this part is soldered to the board. Depending on how you pulled it, this part may have broken off of the buzzer. What you can do now is pull the buzzer. It can now be removed and you could either leave the cover on and leave that brown piece of metal there which is the buzzer or remove the buzzer metal plate completely and that would remove the hardware but if you load it like this, there's a chance that you could easily solder the whole unit back and remember where the parts are for if you ever want to reinstall the buzzer. Now let's plug the microwave in and see if the buzzing noise is over. Now let's plug the microwave in and see if the beeping noise is over. And then I'm going to clean up this modification. Make sure to plug any wires back in that you may have unplugged for this process. All right, let's plug the microwave back in. See if we got any noise. And we have power. Let's see. Oh yeah. That was normally given noise. Let's set time. One second. Start. And just like that, we permanently disabled the beeping buzzer noise when pressing buttons in the microwave and also whenever the microwave is finished cooking. Up loose tires here. As you can see, I ended up putting the cover back on and tucking it away, positive or negative end of the buzzer. Now you can put the cover back on and tighten up the screws. explain to you why this Emerson microwave truly is magnificent and is the best microwave that I could find. It's a whole collection of reasons and I'll start here with the front is that it has a handle instead of a push button for people that are 
right-handed, that is great because the right hand can then hold the object that goes inside the microwave. On the inside, you have a glass turntable, a griller up top for cooking pizza, and also a gold light, warm color, which is nice if you're microwaving things later on. Front here, you have very nice color scheme, classic color scheme, especially the brown buttons. It's hard to see, however, the lights illuminate green instead of white and they always stay on zero 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 if the time is not set also there is a very quiet operation lastly the buttons on the front are of a very large font which is nice and the biggest part of all, which sets this microwave apart from the other microwaves and all other ones that I have experienced, is that I can press a one and it starts at one minute, two starts at two minutes, or start, and I can start at 30 seconds. Instead of having to go to cook time one zero zero, as soon as I press a one, it starts at one minute, which I think is very efficient, especially for how much you're gonna be using a microwave throughout your life. It saves a lot of time and mistakes. And if of course, if you want to do one minute and 12 seconds cook time, one, one, two, start. Here's how efficient this microwave is. As soon as I press a one, it starts. Starts at one minute. 53, 52, 51, 50. And this is the 1100 watt Emerson microwave. Priced at about 150, very reasonable for how this is truly the best countertop microwave that I have ever seen. Here it is, just got it in the mail, 200 hours free for a month of America Online, one of the fastest internet service providers of 1999. Hopefully get a few of these uploaded within that 250 hours. That right there is a rare sighting. Well, what do you know?